Okay, so we want to uh, talk about and ultimately derive what's called the Eddington luminosity. And we're thinking about a black hole. Here's a black hole and, and there's material falling onto the black hole. So I don't know, here's a, a gas of material falling onto the black hole, falling inwards. Um, and, um, well, let's make some more material here. This, this, uh, this hot gas is also radiating. So, well, this is sort of, these are, these arrows represent the velocity of the, of the gas that's infalling and it radiates. So here's, um, radiation coming from the gas as well streaming outwards, and uh, radiation produces pressure, so it's pushing the material, and so the greater the radiation, the greater the pressure, and so the reason it's falling in is because gravity is pulling it inwards, and so you can see that there are opposite forces, uh, pressure outwards and gravity pulling inwards, right, you can have a, a, a situation of balance, and so you can get a limiting amount uh, of pressure in that case. And um, those are the conditions uh, referred to as hydro hydrostatic equilibrium for stars. Uh, we're thinking of this in terms of the limiting amount of radiation that can be generated such that stuff continues to fall in, right? So if the radiation pressure exceeds the gravitational forces inwards, then the material, material no longer comes in, no longer falls onto the black hole. So there's a limiting luminosity, we want to derive that. So if we think of ma equals f, right, the limiting luminosity will come in when the acceleration is zero. And if we make the, the, the pressure from the radiation greater, then of course the acceleration will be outward. So we want the acceleration to be zero. That's the limit that we're looking for. And so we have a pressure, and then we have gravity, these two terms. So we have some some pressure gradient, dp by dr, so we're looking at the radial, the radial component of this balance of forces, that's dp by dr, and then there's an inward gravitational force, which is uh, g, the mass of the black hole, uh, we divide by the distance r where we are, uh, where we're considering the, the pressure forces, and so we're dividing by that uh, r squared, uh, normally we would have another mass here, but because we're dealing with pressure gradient, then we, we want a density there. So um, that's, uh, we're dealing with uh, uh, forces per unit, uh, forces per unit volume. Okay, so, um, and so this tells us that uh, dp by dr uh, is equal to this, but we want to find what this pressure gradient looks like in terms of parameters that involve the gas. Uh, and so uh, the, the radiation is sort of uh, absorbed by the gas, and so it depends on how the gas absorbs that radiation and how it therefore feels that pressure. And it turns out, we won't go into this in any detail, it turns out that uh, we have... Um, I'm not sure why I put a minus sign there, but um, we have uh, some coefficient that 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 depends on the how the gas sort of absorbs the radiation, and and that's called the cross section sigma. Usually you, we see sigma t for a kind of hydrogen that doesn't have um, uh, hydrogen that's ionized that's absorbing the radiation. Um, uh, the, it depends on the density. It depends on the the mass of the, of the proton. There's some subtlety here. We won't go into that. Um, and then it depends on how much flux uh, is at that location. So the flux of radiation. <coughs> and so this gives us, um, so this term ends up being equal to that term. So we have uh, sigma t uh, uh, rho times F over MPC is equal to G 
m black hole rho over r squared. And so uh, here is the flux, and if we integrate the flux, we'll get that we'll get this luminosity. So we'll call this the Eddington luminosity. L Eddington is equal to the integral of the flux, right? Because the flux is just the the energy per unit area at some radial distance. And so we want, to, if we integrate that over the entire sphere of radius r, we'll get the total luminosity generated there. So we have to integrate over a, a sphere, over an area. And so these terms are all constant, so we'll get uh, flux times area, which is uh, flux times 4 pi r squared. And so what is the flux? Uh, the flux from this, come, uh, from this gives us uh, G M black hole, uh, mass of the proton, speed of light, R squared, the cross section. Um, we'll put this into here, and therefore we get that the luminosity, or the Eddington luminosity, is 4 pi G, mass of the proton, mass of the black hole. C over sigma. And if we evaluate these constants, we are about uh, 10 to the 38, uh, the mass of the black hole, uh, divided by one solar mass. So the end to the luminosity for a, a black hole that is the mass of the sun is 10 to the 38, and this is ergs per second.